Let me just set the scene for you. The images you've seen are in this area. The southern part here is Tripoli, and down here is the area where we know some of those detention uh, camps are. Now, we can't say precisely where, but someone that my colleague Shauna has spent a long time speaking to over the last 24 hours sent us this. Listen very carefully. He's in the detention camp. You can hear uh, some of that gunfire. You can hear uh, the conflict going on. And he says, um, you know, obviously so they're scared. This can explain our situation right now. This there sounds... are more, more conflict around us. This sound can explain the situation, the conflict going on around us. They're caught in the crossfire. It's been extremely frightening for them. Uh, very unclear what's going on. And the contact we've had with them, we can show you some of it here. Um, they're frightened. How long have you not had food for? We haven't eaten at some point uh, since the 5th of April, going days without food. 800 refugees, he says, with women and children are in this centre. It's been a very confused, muddled picture that we've heard. They said that sometimes you military people have come in, but we're scared. Are these people that are going to be human traffickers. Uh, this individual in question is from Sudan, being held in a detention centre. Uh, that's where lots of people have been kept um, because they're trying, uh, they think the government think, to get to Europe. Now let's look at this other video that he sent us. This just shows how awful the conditions are in the camp. Uh, without basic amenities, no water. He says, see how dirty it is. Uh, the water here they have here is empty. Um, so the conditions are, are horrible. It's been uh, a long process here for us to verify that we know these videos are coming from these camps so we can report to you that this is accurate. This is what it's like to be living there. And the situation is, uh, you know, human rights organisations are saying it's not OK. It's not OK for these people to be uh, scared and frightened and living in this crossfire. And uh, we've heard already that some people are being relocated to safety, the refugees caught in the middle of these clashes, but certainly not the person that we've been speaking to who's still frightened and unclear about what the future holds.